Hi Pocket Sweet Pro. Um, in this video, I will show you exactly how to schedule your own clients. So if you are running a business where you are sharing your booking link and your clients are going to um, schedule themselves and you have no intention of ever scheduling a client, then you can go ahead and skip this video. However, if it's something that you think you might want to learn how to do, then you've come to the right place. First, I want to mention there are different places where you can go to schedule your clients, okay? So basically along the bottom there, along the navigation panel, you'll have your home button where you will see um, a button that says schedule in the upper right-hand corner. So you can always get to your clients right from there and schedule from there. Now, if you were to tap on the client icon at the bottom, then you could always select a client. Um, let's do John here. And then you could always tap on history and then schedule here from up the upper right hand corner. Okay. The other option is from the messages where you can select a client, tap the plus sign in the lower left hand corner and schedule client. And finally, last but not least, and for whatever reason, it is my favorite way to schedule clients is straight from the calendar view. So if you tap on the calendar icon at the bottom of the screen and then the plus sign in the upper right hand corner, you will be able to schedule a client from there. So those are the places you can schedule the clients for. Now, how do you do it? Well, you're going to select a client. You work from the top down, right? Um, so you're going to select your client. If you have employees and you are assigning an employee to this particular um, appointment, you can do that. Um, then you would have to select the service. Okay, so what are they coming in for? Um, you can always add products if you want, now or later, completely up to you. The date defaults to like right now, so you may want to kind of tap and change, um, pick, uh, you know, whatever date and time you want. Just so you know, when you tap on date, you'll have those blocks at the bottom, right? The red blocks means that you're already booked or there's something on your calendar that you have synced that, you know, you're, you're, you're not available. Green means that you are available. Now you can select a time block and just double book this time. If none of these look great to you, you have something in mind, you just tap all the way at the top where it says date and time. Like I'm going to select May 27th. I can literally go to right within the five minute mark, like exactly where I, I want to schedule this or when I want to schedule this. Then you select a status. So as soon as you select your service, all the details and stuff will pre-populate based on whatever general settings you have. The great thing about scheduling your client yourself, which is another reason you might want to do it, is that you can actually tweak all of the things. So if maybe you're making a concession for a client, that might be another reason why you might want to schedule them. So like, for example, the total, I might say, you know what, for this client, I don't want to charge deposit um, and I'm going to give her a discount. You can absolutely do that. Okay. Um, so you'd have to pick the total, I mean, or change the total if you need to, you can change the status. You can make it a repeat appointment. If you have repeat appointments feature toggled on, then you could always choose to don't notify or, you know, change all of the best, basically the, the notification settings. Okay. The reminder, a follow up reminder for clients to rebook after the appointment has already happened. Um, and then you can see the other options there to add a video conference, um, different details, and again, forms and contracts. So after you fill out all of the, um, kind of sections there, you would tap next in the upper right hand corner, and then you would save the appointment. Now, um, usually you have the option to save or to send. Okay. Um, send what that does is that sends the appointment, all the details to your clients, to their text message. Um, and saves it on your calendar. If you just hit save, it will save that information without sending it to your client. So um, that is an option. So hopefully you are comfortable scheduling your own clients and now you know how to do that. Um, so hopefully you got some value from this video and I will see you at the next one. Bye.